Hello everyone and welcome to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be wiring this very tall and very narrow Adams car panel. Now this was given to me by Mike from Automatic Elevator. So Mike, huge thank you for this pretty sweet car panel. And today we're going to clean it up and make it do something cool. So this thing is pretty tall. And if we lay it down on the table, we can see how much room it takes up. So this will be an interesting project. So before we get started with wiring, let's take a look at this panel and see what this thing has to offer. So starting down here at the bottom, we have our stop run key switch, which you can see here. Stop and run, got our alarm, our door open, one and two. And then up here we had down and up, so I'm assuming this was a mod of an Otis Lexan because we have the up and down buttons. It's very narrow. So unfortunately that was modded, but obviously it was modded again. And we have our three key switches. We first got the inspection key switch here, the fan key switch here, and our light key switch up here. The overall condition of this panel is very good. You can see there's just a little bit of dirt and stuff which we can clean off down here. Not too many scratches on the panel, yet there are some. The little text here has sort of worn off, but that's pretty common. Turning it to the back, here's our little sticker, little Adams. We can see down here we've got quite the mix of Adams bases here. White fan inspection key switches. Here's the up and down buttons, and it looks like the up button has a blank lamp socket, and the down has no, so hmm, we'll have to see what we want to do with that. Here we have our floor buttons, which we have some of our little bulbs in here, which are 120, we'll put LEDs in. Here we have the open button, which has this, so I'm thinking we could switch this base and this base, so we can light up the down button. Looks like the alarm button has a little, yeah, it has a little LED circuit board. I've never seen that before, so we'll have to take a closer look at that. And here we have a very interesting looking key switch. So I've shown you guys how the Adams buttons work, but I haven't shown you guys the key switches yet. So we've got two key switch types here. We've got one that just looks like your normal survivor base, and then we've got this interesting looking thing down here. And plus we got this old circuit board. So let's take a look at these things and see how they work. So one quick thing before we start taking these off, I went ahead and pulled all the wires off. And I noticed this little sticker, alarm LED rated six to 12 volts. So that's interesting. And I'm, since I'm probably gonna be running this with three volts, probably won't be using this, but that's quite interesting to, to note. It's a little low voltage LED. Here we have the first type of key switch. Now this here is the little light key switch. So you put your key in and you can turn it like that. So let's take a closer look at this thing. So the first thing we have is the little cover here. And you can see up there, it says off, on, and light, pretty worn out. Here's the actual key. And if we pull it apart like this, we can look inside and it's super duper simple actually. So we've got this key part here, which literally just turns 90 degrees with these little metal things. And you've just got your standard survivor base on the bottom and it just presses down like a button would. It turns, hits these pieces here and presses it down and completes the circuit. And just to show that action here, you see when I turn it, as long as I hold it together, it presses down on the button. So here's the stop run key switch. See, this one's a lot different. So we have four separate switches on here, which is pretty neat. And the way it works, you can see there's a switch there and when it turns, it changes position. So you can see now the switch is closed and now the switch is open and it does that on all four of them. So that's pretty neat. Here we have the alarm button. And if we pull this off, we can see down there, there's the two little LEDs. And this is rated from six to 12 volts. So we can put a nine volt battery on there and it would work. But for this project, we're using two double A's so it won't be enough power to light these up. So we're just gonna put an LED across there and take this little board off. But it'll be a useful piece to use for another project. So now we're taking a look at some of the key switches on this panel. Let's go ahead and get started with the wiring. So like I said, the first thing I wanna do is switch out this base with one with a little lamp socket so that we can put an LED on it. And I think I may have an extra one here, so let me have a look. So here we have an extra base. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this base out with this one because it has the little spot for the light. So now that that's complete, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out all of these little lamp sockets. 
So next I'm going to take out all these little metal pieces that would normally go on the bulbs so that we can fit LEDs in there. All right, so we've taken out all of these little metal clip things here. So what we're gonna do is put LEDs in it. So red LED here in the alarm. We're gonna do, I'm probably gonna do some do warm white here in the floor buttons to make it look kind of original. Then up here on the two arrow buttons, we'll just do regular white. The wiring's finished. You can see here we have the alarm button. It lights up a lot brighter in person than it does on camera, but we've got one, two, down, and up. I decided to make these red and green instead because I thought that looked cooler. But there we go, it's all lit up. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean up the gunk around here and then shine this panel up a bit and it'll be all finished. All right, you can see here that the panel is all shiny and I cleaned everything up. Just cut the alarm, one, two, down, and up. So that was a fun little wiring project. Again, huge thanks to Mike from Automatic Elevator for this panel. Had a lot of fun wiring it up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.